Good morning. I am Michelle Miller. I just wanted to take a moment to give thanks. Give thanks. To give thanks for this cold day that I'm experiencing. I have the senses and the, the wherewithal to feel the coldness. It is 35 degrees here in the good state of Georgia. <laughs> I am so glad that I am able to experience this because as I am talking to you, I have been remembering and reflecting, especially since this is a brand new year. I, um, as you can see, I'm walking, right? So I just, just a few short years ago, I was not able to walk. Just a few short years ago, I wasn't able to hold up my head. And just a few short years ago, I was laying down, unable to do for myself. And here I am today, being able to take in that, did you see that good breath that I took? Oh, what a blessing. Oh, thanking the Most High that I'm, I'm able to experience this. Have you ever felt that way? where you just gotta take a moment and just say, thank you. Hmm. As a result of those couple of years that I wasn't able to do, I, um, I decided to make the best of my life those few short years ago. I didn't know what to do. Heck, I nearly lost everything. I nearly lost my house. I nearly lost my car. Oh, no, I did lose my car because they did come and repo it. I, um, uh, I was feeling sorry for myself. I wasn't able to dance, which is one of the many things that I love to do. I'm an educator. I wasn't able to do that. But you know what? These past couple of years have been a godsend. Oh, wow, does he know how to get you in line to do what his will is. That being said, I took last year, um, last year's reflections and last year's ideas, last year's failures, last year's triumphs, and I decided to help other people overcome to help other people, not just other people, but other women overcome. Mm, find out their true meaning of what their life is really about. Find out how they can thrive in the midst of adversity. Find out how they can band together and Start loving one another and loving on one another, helping one another, keeping everyone encouraged and just being happy. Man, we have a purpose in life. This is why I created the Live Out Loud movement. Oh man, it is one of the best things that I've ever done in my life. Live Out Loud is a sisterhood, a sisterhood of women who have band together to help one another, to push one another to their goals, to the highest level of themselves. Mm, mm, mm. It Again, it is one of the best things that I have done. What else? I have created a newsletter to help women stay connected. I had a, a meetup in person in November. I mean, I have been doing it, guys. But um, this year, I wanted to add something to that arsenal. I wanted to add something to allow women to do more, to really, really learn how to carve out that niche, to find out who they are, what their purpose is, what they're going to do and do it unapologetically to live out their best lives like me. <laughs> I love to travel. I like to run. I like to walk. I love spending time with my grandkids. I love to mentor. 
I love life. And I'm not going to waste a moment more of my time on doing anything that's insignificant. Well, the Live Out Loud movement has helped me to do it. It's helped me to also help others do it. Find out what their superpower is and use it. Use it to the best of their ability and then some. Oh, I love to be pushed. Pushed in an area where I do nothing but create excellence. So that said, this is a new year. And one of the biggest things in the past year that I found out is that us ladies don't take care of ourselves. We take care of everybody else. We take care. We take care of our husbands, our children, our grandchildren, our co-workers, our cousins, our aunts, our uncles, our friends, our sisters, our brothers. You know the deal. We take care of everybody else, but we fail to take care of ourselves. We fail to achieve the goals that we want to achieve for ourselves. We failed at times. Sometimes we don't fail, but a lot of the times we do. Meaning, not that we, we fail as in a failure, but more so, more so, just forget about ourselves. We get so engulfed with taking care of other people that we forget to take care of little old us. How can you continue on that track? You wind up crashing and burning. So this year, this year, this 2024, I have decided to raise the movement. I created a program called Shevolution. Ah! You know, evolution, but the evolution of she, you, her, me. And how am I going to kick that off? How am I going to make that better? How am I going to get that out to the masses? I decided that I am going to start out with self-care. Self-care. Yep. This year, it's not all about me. It's all about empowering myself and empowering others to be able to be not just a better them or a better you or a better me, but better so that we can be better prepared and better armed to deal with, to live out loud, and to help others. That's, that's what we're here to do. It's okay. But how am I going to start that out, right? So, <laughs> so this, this January, in fact, January 26th, and January 27th, I have created, you're going to love this. I have created a soul serenity <sighs> retreat. I've partnered with a company called The Healing Environment. Oh man, this is going to be super, super fabulous. This is a space, a safe space, where women can unwind, un get untired, <laughs> um, take care of themselves. And what do I mean by that? Hmm. How, let's see. How about that massage you haven't gotten or that facial you haven't gotten? Mm, how about learning how to connect with your inner self um, centered how am I gonna hear from God hmm when there's so much chaos going on oh you're gonna learn how to do that and sound healing and yoni steams if you don't know about what a yoni steam is hmm you're in for a treat sound healing what did I say sound healing uh, 
yoni steam chakra alignment um oh gosh health and wealth ah and then there i'm going to be introducing a super fabulous program that i am about to bless the world with it is going to transform lives and life as you know it it is going to be super super amazing oh i cannot wait to share it oh i cannot wait all while i'm sipping tea or mimosas with my girls i'm taking about 50 of them you're invited too 50 ladies to experience serenity, to experience relaxation at its best, to eat together, to chat together, to laugh together. It is going to be fabulous. I can't wait to see you there. You gotta be there. You gotta come. When did I say it was? Friday, January 26th in the evening at seven and also on saturday january 27th hey that's right around the corner you gotta get there that's someplace you don't want to miss that is a, when is the last time you took care of yourself and it's the new year it's a perfect opportunity to gift yourself gift yourself something that oh will take you into this new year floating on air happy go lucky <laughs> ready and able to prepare and plan out your future if you haven't already started mm, this is a good place to start oh i can't wait to see you at the soul serenity retreat ah! i know i'm being silly but i just want to say living out loud i have no apologies for it and i'm gonna keep doing it and i want you to do it too I want you to experience it too. Live out loud. Ooh. It's kind of cold out here, so guess what? I'm going to go back to the house <laughs> and take my cold behind. My hands are cold. But anyway, I thank you for just sharing this a little bit of time with me. You know what I'm talking about. It's time to take care of you. I'll see you at Soul Serenity. I'll see you at the unveiling and all of that other good stuff. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.